Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Farmhouse Fix Up. What a lot of people won't talk about when owning a older farmhouse or farm property is that shit hasn't been replaced since it was built or established. Uh, turned on the water this morning, take a shower, five minutes maximum of hot water. That's telling me that one of the elements in the hot water heater went out. Time to replace it. That's what we're doing today. Woohoo! Now, thankfully, my grandparents raised me to when something breaks, you fix it yourself if you have the means and capability to. So, since replacing an element is fairly easy, I'm going to do this myself. Ordered this tool off of Amazon. It is purposely for the screw-in hot water heater elements and the anoid rod. I might have to be doing the rod too, but we'll see if we even do that today. Alrighty, here's the hot water heater, and I've had the hot water on and running for about 10 minutes and down here is completely ice cold so yep that tells me this one's hot this one's cold it's most likely the bottom element that went out but i'm not taking a chance and i'm going to replace both of them because i do not know when they were last replaced first things first you have to kill the power um i'm gonna do that in a minute but it's also completely filled with water. So after we kill the power, this front cover plate's gonna come off. There's going to be insulation behind this cover plate. You take the insulation off, you get to the wires, you undo the wires, and then that's when you can take the torque wrench tool thing and take the element out, lefty, loosey, righty, tighty, you know. Um, but I have to drain it. We don't have a floor drain anywhere so I'm gonna have to bucket this out bucket by bucket at a time so let's let's do that of course but before you do that you have to shut off the cold water and I'm also gonna shut it down where it comes into the house so I have both ways off so let me go ahead and do that and then I also have to go upstairs and turn on a hot water Stick it that way it'll drain the hot water out of these lines here that go whichever way over to the kitchen and no more hot water comes out um, but be very careful because this is obviously going to be boiling hot when it comes out and it has to be the sink closest to the hot water heater And that's done. It's gonna dribble a bit, but you're pretty much good. We have two electric panels because the house has solar. So let me see here. Bedroom, library, heat, heat, cooktop, pool. It's not this one. So it must be on this one. Water heater, 17 and 19. Water heater. 17 and 19 on off that is off put the screw with it so you don't lose it and here's what i was talking about there's a whole bunch of insulation behind here pull this back and you're going to get to a plastic piece oh good they kept that some places throw that away um, i've seen water heaters before at the old house yeah it, it kind of just looked like that there <laughs> wasn't that plastic piece in play but here are our main wires and there is our element right there we got to change so let me make sure that this connection is dead and if so I can take both of these off of here and then we can remove that element right there a little hard one-handed but let's test these it's dead and how to triple check that is that this is the power supply coming to the pressure tank. That's live. And that's reading through the cover. So the fact that this ain't doing anything can also just reassure me. Yeah, that's, that's off. Don't do that, by the way, if you're not sure. And this is why you never throw away old hoses. This was the old washing machine hose. I traded out for the stainless steel or whatever for the new ones. Hooked that bad son of a bitch right up to the water tank. And now I can just dump it into 
this feed bucket and then take the feed bucket outside. You wanna drain this super slow. Look at all that calcification that's coming out of there. You also wanna drain it slow cause you're gonna hear, if you have copper pipes, like you have mine, you're gonna hear them bending and making like little popping noises. That's just all that water also coming out. Okay, and as you saw, that was the top and the bottom element of what they looked like. So went ahead and put the new one in and it doesn't actually matter um, which wires go to what screw. So just screw them on and put this cover and this piece back on and seal this up and we should have hot water now. And the main one that actually fried out, this is the bottom one. And I find it funny that I found on the side of the tank, lower element replaced 2020. Yeah, no, it definitely, it definitely wasn't. This hasn't been replaced in years. Um, you can see all the calcification and buildup. I did look at the anoid rod and it sacrificed itself. I mean, it needs to be replaced as well, but me and Justin cannot get that out of there. I mean, that is, it's right down there, but I mean, it is, it's in there good. So we're going to have to get a breaker bar and try to get that, but... Here is the reason why we lost the hot water. And for reference, this is what the new ones look like. So, yeah, I mean, and that's, that's pretty thick metal there. So the fact that that was eaten away, that's, that's been in there for longer than three years. And I just turned the hot, ooh, yep. And yep, they're, Oh, yeah, they're both hot. So, all done, all fixed, and another episode of <laughs> Farmhouse Fix-Up. Next is that. <laughs> but we'll get to that another day.